Hey guys, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. This is Talk Mobile, and of course, all week we've been talking about mobile gaming. Big surprise. It's the end of the week, though. We want to end it on a high note, so we'd like to talk about what the future of mobile gaming is. And I want to keep it realistic, guys, okay? Next one to two years, not like 10, 15 years. Well, I, I wonder about, I, I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this, because we go to CES and we see all kinds of futury stuff. Like, for example, that Oculus Rift. Have you seen this? Big piece of headgear. Instead of wearing it around your mouth like a teenager, you wear it around your eyeballs. <laughs> you guys seen that? Is that really mobile? I, I don't know. There was a lineup. The biggest line at the last gaming conference was for Oculus Rift. Yeah. And if you've tried it, it's fantastic. And almost everybody, when it gets to the snowflake part, they look up and they forget it's VR and they start reaching for the snowflakes. And it's amazing because it's one of these small indie projects to build this thing. Well, you asked if it's mobile, does it have its place in mobile? Is That's the question. I want to plug it into my phone. I have the Oculus Rift on my head, <laughs> cable goes out into my iPhone, I'm walking around the streets. I, like a zombie. I say no. I'm actually kind of concerned about this idea. Like, same with Google Glass, whether or not it's actually going to catch on. It's actually cool technology, and part of me says that this is actually what people want. It's this sort of cyborgification of <laughs> gaming <laughs> and technology, but I'm not really sure. It's going to take a long time, I think, for it to sort of actually happen. We talked the other day about the, the hardware itself and making improvements, and we've seen things outside of the mobile space where for example, uh, 3D technology yeah. is getting much more realistic, like human looking forms actually appearing human. Are we gonna get to that point? I mean, it seems what's worked in mobile gaming so far has been you know, addictive games that hook the imagination of the masses, mm -hmm. and that's where you make a lot of money. And maybe if that happens with 3D, we'll see it happen, but nobody's cracked it just yet, so it's a bit of a risk and a gamble. Well, what about uh, motion controls, like the Leap, for instance? Will that make it more uh, accessible on a, on a gaming, on mobile gaming? I think, and all apologies to Microsoft for their technology, people really, I don't think, want to touch large screens. I think that when a small device, it's fine, but as the screen gets bigger, your distance away from it is just more natural. And then things like Kinect and things like Leap, uh, and I forget the name of that band that goes on your arm, but those kind of controls are fantastic because then you're gesturing. I don't like gesturing on a phone, but I like gesturing to a TV set interface, things like that. I think that will let all that technology scale to like almost infinite it, Well, it, and it's interesting you mentioned that because the Galaxy S4 from Samsung has those gesture controls where you don't have to touch the screen to, to make things happen. And I, even just in casual use, I think it's a lot more precise than... Uh, than say Connect is on the Xbox. Daniel, what about when the phone becomes the center of all of your technology and the television is not just a television, it's kind of a monitor for it, and then wrap all of that into this non-touchy kind of thing? That's definitely probably the future where this is going, is the idea that my phone can talk with other devices and sort of interact with it. And I would say that along with sensors are gonna be the really big thing, but it's gonna take time. I tell you what else has increased the immersion for me and it's, again, not necessarily new technology. We had it a couple generations of tablet ago uh, from Samsung, had front-facing speakers. I think HTC did on its original and only Android tablet. And now we have the front-facing speakers again on the HTC One. And that really, when you have the sound coming at you in actual real stereo, and it, it just sucks you into the game that much more and makes it feel like a real experience and not just some game you're playing on a phone a little bit. Let me ask you about this. What about uh, the future of mobile gaming and phones, but with them actually having a controller. Sort of like what we saw with uh, the PlayStation type phone. PlayStation, all right, so you've got the PlayStation phone, which hasn't taken off really for a number of reasons. You have Project Shield from NVIDIA, and I honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. It's still very much in the early days here in the first half of 2013. I, I think the back half of the year and going into 2014 is where something like that really has the potential to take off. How about the day when I can whip out my phone and take a picture of this cup and then zap it over to that 3D printer and bingo bango? That's what I want. What do you guys want? That's the, yeah, that's the one. If you could have one imaginary thing in the future that you get out of your mobile device, what's it gonna be, Daniel? Oh, I would have to say probably the Kinect sensor, the idea of using my hands and not touching the phone. The silver bullet, thought control. I want it to be like, yeah. like not in Russian, but actual thought control. Well, you know, they're, they're doing that in robotics, so there's no reason it can't transfer over to Yeah, but they gotta gaming. plug things into your brain to make that happen. <laughs> Shadow Run, they, they nailed that years ago. The ability to disable games for everybody who works for us. <laughs> so they work, 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 and they don't play games. 
I just want better games. I think there are a lot of really good, good games out there and games with really good potential, but blow it on something stupid like a crappy ad. What do you guys think? What do you want in the future, the next one to two years for mobile gaming? Leave a comment right down there. Come back next week. We've got a whole new lineup and more of the same. So we'll see you then. I'm Callie Lewis. I'm John P. Bye.